Welcome to Daily Fix Guide. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the device not certified by Google error on Android. So how to check if your device is not certified? You can go to Play Store, click on your profile at the top right. From there, click on settings. And here, click on about. And as you can see in their Play Protects certification, you'll find device is certified or device is not certified. So if it's not certified, you'll have to get your Android ID. What you'll have to do is install device ID app from APK Mirror because normally you'll not be able to install anything from like Play Store. Let me even see if it's uh, in there. So device ID, let me just delete one D. So, okay, so it's not uh, here in Play Store. Normally you will not be able even to download this from Play Store because you cannot download this anyway. So you'll need to download the APK Mirror. You can go as example to any browser and go and open like a new tab and you can go and look for APK Mirror and make sure to download that. Once you download this example, or you can even search, I guess, and download here. So let me just go and look for device ID. So where is it? Like here is it, like the last one, last version of by Evozi. You can just go and click on that and then make sure to download it. So once you download that, you'll be able basically to get your Android ID. So open the application and copy the GSF ID, Net Android ID. Once you copy that, you will need to register now your GSF ID with Google. You can go and open an example. Let me just go and open a new tab. Go to google.com slash Android and then slash Incertify. Incertified like that. Hit the enter button. And this should take you right here, as you can see. So all you need to do, just go and check that I am not a robot. Click on the register. And of course, on enter a value here, you'll have to enter your Google Services Framework Android ID. And as I said, here we'll have to enter your GSF ID or Google Services Framework Android ID. So once you enter that, click on register, then you'll have to wait a few hours, up to 24 hours. Then you'll have to restart your device. Also, once you restart your device, you can go and click on your Play Store, click on the eye icon here, or you can go to settings, click on apps and look for Google Play services. Here, basically, you would like to go and click on storage and click on clear data and clear cache as well. So you'll have to do the same for Google Play Store, Google Play services, because we don't want to do it for uh, Google Play Store alone. We want to do it also for Google Play services. So let's just go and access settings. And example from there, we'll have to go to apps. So system apps, not system apps, then I'm just going to click on manage apps. And here, like Google Play services. So Google Play, uh, where is it? Yeah, so here is it. I just had to click on show all. So you'll have to do the same for this. Click on storage, click on clear data on this as well. And once you do the same or for Google Play Store, so you'll have to do it for the Google Play services and Google Play Store, you'll have to go and restart again your phone. Just reboot your phone. Once you reboot your phone, if your Play Store is not working, make sure to download the latest Google Play services and Play Store APK from APK Mirror and install them manually. But normally it should work for you after you do so. And make sure to do not install some random certification APK from unknown sources and don't like flash firmware uh, you don't trust and don't add your device to your Google accounts via shady apps as well. So yeah, that should be it for me in this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.